Hey y'all, welcome to the show. Happy Easter to everyone. This is one of the most unusual Easter's I think in anybody's memory and I'm glad we can spend it together. We're um, celebrating it here, uh, watched church on TV today um, and despite the awful circumstances, um, it's not difficult to find a way to, to celebrate. When I was 18, I moved to New York and I lived at the Y on 92nd Street and Lexington Avenue. Well, I was all alone, didn't have any money, so I start walking up and down the streets trying to find uh, some place to, to play the piano so I could make some money. Well, I passed a church called Our Lady of Good Counsel, which is up there on the Upper East Side, not far from 92nd and Lex, where the Y is. And I walked in, and to be honest with you, I mean, you know, I, I was trying to be a good Catholic going to church on Sundays, but I was really looking for a job as an organist because <laughs> I needed to eat, you understand? I needed to buy some more ramen noodles. So this young, handsome priest was at this church, and I said, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a piano player. Do you need somebody to play at the church services? And he said, yeah, that, that'd be great. I'll pay you, you know, $10 or $20 or whatever it is. You need to play, you know, five o'clock mass, six o'clock mass, whatever it was. And over the course of the next probably two years, I became real close to him. Well, this man's name was Richard Guastella, and we became really close. And he would invite me out for a hamburger. We'd go across the street and get a hamburger pretty much every Sunday after church. And I don't know how to explain this, folks, but I felt like I was with a rock star. Because here was this man who had just given these you know, th this beautiful sermon and, and, and presided over this incredible service. And then, like, I was, I was hanging with him. We kept in touch, and as the years passed, we asked him to marry us. Jill and I asked Father Richard to fly down to New Orleans and marry us at St. Louis Cathedral, and he did. Uh, we then asked him to baptize one of our daughters. He did. Well, I got word very recently that, that he was in the ICU on Staten Island, and, um, I found out where he was. One of y'all sent me some information and I wanna thank you for that. And I, I, I called the hospital, I got transferred, 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 and I got real close. I got to the ward where he was and there was a woman on the phone who said, uh, uh, can, I, can I help you? I said, yeah, my name's Harry Connick. I'm looking for Father Richard Guastella. She goes, well, what do, you, what do you need? I said, I just wanna to talk to him. And she said, well, what, what is your relationship? I said, I'm, I'm a friend. And she goes, well, what, how do you know him? I said, he, he married me and my wife, baptized one of our kids. I said, could you deliver a message for me? And she says, sure, what is it? I said, please tell him I love you. And she said, I'll, I'll tell him. And I got word the next day that Father Richard died. And I can't, I can't, I can't put it into words. I'm heartbroken. Jill's heartbroken. It, it really makes me think this Easter Sunday. It really makes me think that despite this chaotic world we live in, love wins. It just wins. And I love you. And I know, I know that we will get through this, we're going to be better because of it, despite the loss, despite the anxiety, despite the uncertainty, despite the pain. We will come out of this on the other end, and we'll have some pretty wild stories to tell our kids and our grandkids. But thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share my life with you, to share my feelings with you, and to hunker down with you. And now, it's time for viewer videos. I have some really good videos for y'all today. I'm going to start with one from one of the most talented musicians that I know. There's a family of brothers, the Powell brothers, and they're up here in Connecticut. And they're among the great gospel musicians on the planet today. Kevin Powell is an organist, but they all play and sing. And I thought on Easter Sunday it might be nice to do something 
from the gospel world because he's one of my heroes and every time I listen to him play, he doesn't know but I stalk him on Instagram and I, any videos I can get of this guy, um, I watch because he's such a genius, I think. And I thought hearing something from him might, might be really nice today. So we're gonna start viewer videos off uh, with a really incredible video from Kevin Powell. Left his mighty throne in glory to bring to us a redemption story. Oh, then he died and he rose again just for you and me. Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. Grace and peace, everyone. This is your friend Kevin Powell hanging out on Hunker Down with Harry, with my good friend Harry Connick Jr. Listen, these are some unusual times. And even in this, I want to take this time to wish you a happy Easter weekend, happy Resurrection Sunday. And remember, let's do our best to stay safe, stay healthy, wash our hands, practice social distancing, and let's make sure we take every necessary precaution to keep this virus from spreading. We want to make sure that we stop this pandemic from becoming worse than what it already is. God bless. I just go somewhere when that guy plays and sings. I just, it just does something to my heart. Thank you, Kevin. I really appreciate that. You're a really busy guy and, and for you to find time to make that video for me really means a lot. We have a question from Jerry Madera. And Jerry says, you're very open and sincere about your faith. Do you find it difficult in the entertainment industry living your faith? No, I don't. I'm Catholic, I'm proud to be Catholic. I have a lot to learn. You just talk to my dad and he reminds me all the time of the things that I still need to learn and he sends me uh, literature and all kinds of information on things I can do to become better. I'm very proud to call myself a Catholic. I'm also proud to love people who believe other things. My mother was not a Catholic, she was born Jewish. Uh, I have friends that span the gamut from uh, Scientologists to Mormons to um, atheists to Baptists to Buddhists and I love every last one of them. I love I love them all um, and I think somehow we got to a point where you weren't supposed to talk about it. I, I'm not sure that never really affected me. I remember Tim Tebow was on the Harry show once and he told a story about his faith and like 50 million people saw it on Facebook and said, I can't believe you're allowing him to talk about his faith. And I'm thinking, what, what do you, why? What's the problem? I don't know what happened, but I am Catholic. I find no problems talking about it. I'm, I'm happy you asked the question. Thank you so much. T. Lehman from Philly sent in a video. He says, I found a new love of longboarding during this health crisis, which is a great escape. We have some fantastic trails in the Philadelphia area. I wish I could do it with you. I really do, it looks like fun. The only way I could do it is if the longboard were like as big as a surfboard, but with wheels. That would be a vibe. That would be a vibe. Sam Christian and his mom, Stacy, sent in a video. This is Sam getting ready for the big game. Go Saints! Who that, Sam? That's what I'm talking about. I love it. Go Saints, baby. Go Saints. We're going to have a tough time this, this next year. We have some tough quarterbacks in our division. Now we have a guy named Tom Brady. I don't know if you're familiar with him playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> but you know what? We got Drew Brees. Oh. There's Teddy Bridgewater, Matt Ryan, and Tom Brady. But we got Drew Brees. I put my money on Drew Brees. Martha Alonghi sends in a video. This is a video from her uncle. Now see, that, that's actually hard to do. I, I did that once. That thing is hard to play. And to have three people playing it at the same time, that's extremely impressive. I, I want to get one of those giant pianos. I just want to do, it's great exercise too. You can wipe out though if you're wearing socks because it's pretty slippery, but I'd like, to, I'd like to get in on some of that. Shannon Moody sent a photo. 
Shannon says, our daughter Madeline, 17, is a senior in high school this year. And with the quarantine, many of her big senior moments may not happen or may take place in a non-traditional way. So some people in their community made hand deliveries of these caps and gowns. How awesome is that? People are smart and very innovative, and I love seeing that. Jennifer Sands sends in a photo. She says, this is from a hike up a pretty steep trail my family and I hiked on Monday. This is one of the trails off the Blue Ridge Parkway near Asheville, North Carolina, where we live. It is so pretty there. That's amazing. How lucky for you to be able to do that. Thank you for sharing that picture. Natalie Shaver has a question and she sent in a video. Hi, Harry, my name is Natalie and my question for you is would you ever consider recording a gospel album? You're darn right I would consider doing a gospel album. If you stick around to the end of this show, I, I might have something that, that will be a surprise to you that you might like. So don't go anywhere. Well, we're not going anywhere. We're hunkered down. Continue to watch because I, I have a little surprise for you coming up. Heather Joy Sloan sends in the video. Heather says, I have three boys, 14, 12, and nine. My oldest, Logan, found a way to get a little closer to my parents last week. They stay in the car as I load up their cooler in the trunk, keeping our distance, but he really misses them. Where did you get that? I want that. I would wear that inside the house. I would wear that even if there weren't social distancing going on. I just love that. Elaine Wallace from St. George, Utah has a question. She says, we know about you, your daughters, and even the pets, but what is Jill doing to survive quarantine? Give us news about Jill. I'm gonna tell you the deal about Jill. Jill is very shy. I've asked her a bunch of times, hey, when, when are you gonna come, you know, on the hunker down with Harry? She goes, oh, maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do it. She likes being behind the scenes. I'm gonna, you keep writing in, and, and I'm gonna petition her to get on the show. Hannah Lovrovich sent some photos. Hannah says, I'm a 22-year-old senior at Tulane University. I was born and raised in New Orleans. I decided to give my backyard an extreme makeover during quarantine. And it's a project that has kept me both busy and sane. All right, here's the before picture from Hannah. I see what you mean. You gotta do, do a little, little grooming work out there. And here's the after picture. Look at that. When, Hannah, am I invited? We got a barbecue. I want to come over. That looks like a chill space. I love that. I love the white rocks and that's so nice. You have great taste. That's, that's fantastic. And I hope you're hanging in there. It's got to be very strange to have come this far in your academic career. You're a senior at Tulane and, and now everything kind of comes to a temporary halt and it, it must be very confusing for you. So I'm thinking about you and hopefully you'll enjoy many happy hours in that great space. The Braden family, Eric, Lauren, Quinn, and Bridget sent in a video. I like this video. Check this out. <laughs> Try that in another town. You go up to somebody on the street and just start dancing with them in like, you know, midtown Manhattan. You know, somebody might call the cops. If you walked up to somebody in New Orleans and started dancing with them that you didn't know, what, what, what would happen? In New Orleans? Yeah. They'd probably throw you around. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Ramsell sent in this photo. She said, I wanted to share with you what our family did today to honor Good Friday. As a fellow Catholic, I thought perhaps you would appreciate it. I printed off Stations of the Cross for my kids to color. We then walked the way of the cross and said prayers at 3 p.m. today. Susan, that is so beautiful. I love seeing that. Uh, I had the pleasure of going to Jerusalem and walking the Stations of the Cross um, with my daughter Charlotte. This was about nine years ago, and I still think about it. I mean, to walk the exact path that Christ walked um, was, it, ugh, I get chills thinking about it. It takes effort to, to pass your values on to your kids, whatever they may be. And the fact that you took time out of your day to, to print those and to have some family time uh, doing something that you think is important and that I happen to think is important and share that with your kids is, is, is really important. And I promise you, your kids are gonna be telling their grandkids about that. You know, back in the quarantine of 2020, you know, our mom printed out these these uh, pictures of the Stations of the Cross, and, and we walked the Stations of the Cross, and, and, we, and we drew 
uh, we collared them, and I just, you know, it's it's like it's like this time is bringing out different things in us that we may not have discovered otherwise. And as tragic as it is, there's so much hope, and there's so much love, and there's so much compassion, and there's so much um, togetherness that there's there's still a lot to be grateful for. Thank you so much for that, Susan. And now, Charlotte's Life Ponderings. You ever think about an eggplant? There's no eggs in it. Thank you, Charlotte. I've been blessed to work with some really amazing musicians and I have a band that consists of the best musicians in the world as far as I'm concerned. And one of my guys um, that I really, really admire and look up to is Dion Tucker. He's a brilliant man, he's a, a deeply soulful musician, and he's a philosophical and artistic thinker. And I love to sort of get his perspective on life um, he, he's, he's a really wonderful guy, and I asked him if he would send in a, a little something for y'all, and uh, this is from Dion. What's up, Harry, and everybody out there? I hope you're staying safe, and I hope your families are healthy during this crazy time in the world. Uh, one thing that musicians don't usually have a lot of, that's time. So this quarantine has given us time to, at least for me, to pursue a lot of stuff that I've wanted to do for quite a while now. One of those things is at 7 p.m. every day, I lift up my window and I play When the Saints Go Marching In for all of the amazing healthcare workers on the front lines taking care of us all around the world. The hashtag is Saints for Saints. If you look it up on Facebook or Instagram, you'll see videos of musicians that have joined in from all over the country. It's really been amazing um, and helping this initiative continue on. So Saints for Saints, every day at 7 p.m. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, look, look for us. We'll be sending some love to our healthcare workers. Thank you, Dion. I think it's such a great idea, Saints for Saints. You can follow Dion uh, on Instagram, too, at the, at the address right there. Another one of my musical heroes is a woman named Nikki Ross. She comes from Texas, and she's got a talent that is you think I'm exaggerating? One in a billion. I asked Nikki if she would be kind enough to send in a little video for the show, and here's what she sent. I come to the garden just so humbled. I feel so blessed to have these people in my life. I feel blessed to have all of y'all in my life. Nikki, thank you so much for that. I'm, I'm just so lucky to know you. I love you, and I hope y'all are staying safe down there in Houston. Okay, Natalie, here's an answer to your question. Would I ever record a gospel album? Yes, I would, and I am definitely going to do it. Even in these times of uncertainty and chaos, 
we can still take a moment to appreciate how great the art of God is. So, here is How Great Thou Art. O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, sings my, my Savior God. God. To thee. My God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art, how great. Thou Thank you all so much for watching Hunker Down with Harry. And remember, if you have any questions or comments or videos, send them in to hunkerdownwithharry at gmail.com and I will do my best to get him on the show. Happy Easter, y'all. Love you.